As we look outside right now, the cold front has not cleared us yet, which means we're still in that hot, soupy air mass. Lots of clouds. Looks almost like it's about to rain, but radar not picking up anything right now. 86 in Detroit, 83 in Howell, 82 in Pontiac, mid 80s in Adrian. We're not expecting any more thunderstorms. We might have a sprinkle here or there as that cold front moves through over the next several hours, but really it's going to be the falling temperatures. You'll know when the front gets past us because it will be much cooler. 60s for highs through Friday. A few showers possible tomorrow. It's just kind of unstable, but most of the day will be dry, breezy and cool. And then weekend chances there is a bit of a rain chance over the weekend. 86 right now at City Airport, still in the 80s everywhere you go. Pontiac is at 82, 84 in Flint and Lapeer. Dew points are still in the upper 60s. When they're in the upper 60s to low 70s, that feels like Florida. I mean, that is just a very muggy air mass. That is going to change big time overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow. This almost looks like the reverse, but Normal temperatures are in blue. High temperatures that are the forecast temperatures are in red. So tomorrow well below normal. Also on Friday, Saturday, we don't get back to normal temperatures until the second half of the weekend. Look at this monster storm. This is the visible satellite of Hurricane Fiona. It is now a cat four hurricanes. It is moving off to the north. Next uh, stop will be Bermuda. It is expected to continue to be a category four hurricane, but it has suddenly gotten very busy in the tropics. We have Gaston. That's not going to be a problem, but there are three more lined up. This one here could enter the Gulf of Mexico by next week. This would be Hermione when it becomes a tropical storm. That's the one we're really keeping an eye on. Right now, Fiona continues to move to the north at eight miles per hour. Winds are at 130 miles per hour with gusts of 160 miles per hour. That tiny Tiny Island of Bermuda really going to get hard, hit hard by this, and it could even make a second landfall over the weekend. Tonight here, 54, the overnight low. So we're talking about 30 degrees cooler when you wake up tomorrow morning. Then for the daytime tomorrow, wow, what a difference. 63 is the high temperature. It will be breezy with winds out of the north at 20 miles per hour. And then looking ahead to the future forecast, we stay in the 60s through Friday. Then we warm back up slightly for Saturday and Sunday, but it will also be a little cloudier than normal and what we've been used to over the last several weekends on Sunday. Chance of showers with highs in the 70s. Wow, well, it'll be good for sports. Kind of a little not so hot and sweaty. It, it, that's true. That's good. All that's right, true. thanks, Kim.